Hi YouTube! This has been an extremely highly requested video and I'm finally filming and I'm very excited to do that. But I'm just going to get started and get into um, the pros and cons and the differences. This is the tights versus pantyhose video. Now, um, you guys know that I wear a lot of pantyhose and tights and I've gotten a lot of requests to talk about the differences and in what scenarios and in what cases would you wear um, each one. Now, unfortunately the pair that I'm current, I am wearing pantyhose, but my pair today ripped. Right there, you see? When they rip on the foot, it's kind of like a done deal for me. Because, like, I, I can't. However, tip, and this is an old tip, but I was actually shocked when I said it to one of the girls the other day, and it was, like, mind-blowing to them. If you have a very tiny rip that you just are noticing, that it's you still have a lot of life left in them, or you want to get at least one more wear, I normally do when I can get one more wear out of them, and it's a little rip, uh, put a little bit of clear nail polish on it, and it stops the rip. So, something, if you are into pantyhose, or you wear pantyhose because of your profession, that is a tip that I learned a long time ago, and I was actually shocked how many people didn't know about that. I learned that from my grandmother taught me that trick. But anyway, so I do wear both tights and pantyhose. I've got a few different pairs here that I wanted to show you. And um, I should have grabbed a pair of fishnets because I wear fishnets as well, but I, I didn't. I'm sorry. I have one that looks like it, though. Anyway, and this pair is inside out because I just washed them. Now, I wear both tights and pantyhose to work and off work, depending on the outfit and what look I'm going for. Now, the pair that I normally get, just because they're the best bang for your buck and they last um, fairly decent, you can get quite a few wears out of them, I get legs. I just bought this one. Um, this one was four pairs. I think I paid like four or five dollars for four pairs, and you get quite a few uses out of them. Uh, you can't go wrong. I always like the control top because I feel the regular top ones, I feel when you wash them that the elasticity just goes quicker. So I always get the control top ones. I feel that because it's thicker that it lasts longer. There's another one that my one friend would buy. Oh my gosh. They're kind of like, they're basically tights, but it's called like support hose or something like that. They're a little thicker than regular pantyhose. She loves them because they hold up better. I think uh, they're made for like leg support and stuff like that for older women. They do, they are thicker, but to me they're more like a tight than a pantyhose, so I don't typically go for those. However, I do get the control top because I feel that the regular top on the normal ones, they wear out quicker than the control top one. So I always get the control top one so that it lasts longer. This one is actually one of them. Uh, this pair, hey Des! This pair is actually like on its way out. I wear them brand new and I'm wearing skirts and dresses and when they start to wear or get holes in them, uh, like this one actually has a hole towards the top, not that that really matters, but when they start getting holes in the legs and stuff, I will wear them under jeans or pants because then you won't notice the rips. And then when the rips get really bad or they're in the toe area, that is when I will uh, chuck them. But, so, as you can see, this is a pantyhose, and pantyhose tend to be thinner. They're easier to break or rip, I should say. Nylons are even thinner. Yes, there is something thinner than a pantyhose. Nylons are thinner, and the only reason why I learned that was I bought them. I love the way nylons look. They are your legs, but better. Like, same with the pantyhose, but I just love them. What is wrong, sweetie pie? Do you want to say hello? You want to photobomb the pantyhose? Hi. Say hello. She doesn't wear pantyhose. We should make pantyhose for chihuahuas. Oh, I love you. Do you want to chill with me? Okay. Anyway, so nylons are thinner. And I find they do not last as long as the pantyhose. Obviously, they're more fragile. Anyway, so I love the look of pantyhose. I think that they give your legs a very polished look. Uh, it's your legs, but better. They're basically cover-up or foundation for your legs. So I always recommend... It's kind of a pet peeve for me. When I see girls wearing dresses and not pantyhose, because... 
I mean, yeah, you have gorgeous legs, don't get me wrong, but there's something about pantyhose that takes an outfit, especially depending on the type of skirt or dress, it's bringing you up a level as far as class. Instantly, when you see a girl wearing pantyhose, it looks classier than when you're just going out in a dress and a pair of heels. I always wear uh, pantyhose because it just brings that look together. Even with, now I know some girls do not like wearing open-toed with pantyhose. I do. Not all the time, but I, I tend to do it. If you take, as you can see, there is where my fingers are. This is the seam. What I'll do is I'll take the seam and I'll hide it underneath my toes so that you don't see it. And then I'll wear the open toe with it because I think it looks okay. That's my personal opinion. Everybody's different as far as that goes. There is debate over where you should wear pantyhose or tights with open toes or not. I've done it, but then again, I, I kind of beat to my own drum. But we already know that. That's why you're here isn't it? Okay, so now this is a pair of tights. This is a printed pair. This has this really pretty flower pattern on it. And as you can see, they're opaque for the most part. They're a lot thicker and these can take a lot more. They're more durable. What I like wearing these with, like, these are for more, what's what I'm looking for here? Uh, a polished look. You don't see tights in like crazy patterns typically. They're normally in skin tones or black colors. I find them with designs on them. I have one that says ooh la la going up the back. You have the Cuban toe which is you got the seam going down the back and then it goes down all the way to your whole bottom of your foot. It has a not like a seam but it goes your seam and then it goes down to the cubit toe where it has like a, it's like a, a heavier material more like a tight material underneath the toe it's actually really pretty i've seen them with red and stuff like that they're gorgeous anyway tights are definitely thicker and more opaque warmer i tend to wear tights more in the winter time because they are warmer they even make them fleece lined now which is a beautiful thing and they're not a lot of bulk so you're getting that extra warmth without a ton of bulk because I don't like wearing like long underwear and stuff like that because I don't like the way it feels on and these are more fun you can find all kinds of patterns and colors Target has so many amazing patterns and so I was I almost had a outer body experience last time I was in there these I like to play with when I'm wearing like tunics or really short dresses do not wear them as pants. I've seen girls do it. Guys, yes, they are more opaque, but when you put them on, we can see your booty and your underwear. I, I saw a girl wearing them as pants. I'm like, they're tights. They're a hosiery. They're not a pant. There's a difference. They're not leggings. That's why you have leggings. Anyway, so when I have like a super, super short uh, skirt, like basically you can wear them as pants, but make sure your butt is being covered. So you're going to have on like a, a short skirt. I've worn them with a tunic with these and it looks super, super cute. And because of all the different styles you can find adds so much personality to your outfit. I've seen them in so many different patterns and I've seen them in metallics and colors are just so much fun. And for the money, they do last longer than the pantyhose. They both have a place in my heart, but they both have a reason as well. Here's another pair that I have. This pair I really love because it looks almost like a fishnet, but more of a mermaid scallop type. And I do love fishnets too. I own tons of fishnets. But the thing with fishnets, and girls, you know what I'm talking about, the netting will get between your toes and it's just a pain in the neck. And it used to drive me crazy because sometimes it would get in between your toes and when you're walking, it would hurt. So I was like, well, what can I do? Because I still like the look of a fishnet. Obviously, I can't, not for work, but I like the look of a fishnet with certain outfits. And I just didn't like the pain that I got from the fishnet. Take a pantyhose, put underneath the fishnet, layer them up. Nobody's going to notice. It looks great, and it's not going to hurt your feet either. It was like the best thing that I discovered when I did that. I loved it. Anyway, so these I would wear more with tunics. I wear these with short skirts 
or any outfit that I feel like I could. I've even worn these under pants. You can, but because of the fun patterns, I like wearing them with like shorter things. As you've seen, um, I think, what was the pair that I wore in my David Bowie outfit? Those were actually pantyhose because I had the, the high boots. But you've seen some of my outfits of the day. I have worn these and I normally wear them with short skirts. I do wear them under pants for warmth, but when I want to wear something like this, it's because I want to show the patterns of them off. You can get them in nudes like pantyhose, but I have. I just, if I'm going to wear a nude, I'd rather wear the pantyhose. I just think it looks nicer because these are more opaque and you can tell. I have a friend, she's older than I am, that, that makes a difference, but she'll match her blazer to her stocking or her tights. Like her whole outfit, she'll have purple blazer, purple skirt, purple tight. I don't recommend doing that. If you're going to wear a purple tight, I would say let that be the statement of the piece. Wear a black skirt, maybe use the purple blazer on top of it, but you're wearing colored or patterned hosiery for a reason. You want them to get noticed. Don't make them blend in. For her, it works because everybody in the area I live in, we all know that's what she does. But you don't want that. Uh, you want that to be a statement. That's why, I mean, when I buy them, I always get the statement ones because I think those are more fun. I can always wear pantyhose if I want something more demure. Anyway, now the places that I typically buy, I already told you I buy... Most of my pantyhose are from Walmart because it seems to be the best deal, but I'm telling you, you can score some amazing deals from places like TJ Maxx. They're out of this world with some of the... I've gotten um, Donna Karen there. I got... I don't even think they're a thing anymore. Let me remember the name of the company. It's like Beyonce owns it. Oh my goodness, what was the name of that company? I own a pair of shoes from it. Jay-Z and Beyonce had it. What the heck was it named? Rockaware. I don't think that's a thing anymore, but I owned, I still own them actually because they're um, fishnets, so I don't wear them as often, so they seem to last longer. What else have I found? Uh, Calvin Klein and Klein. Most companies make a hoser of some sort, and I can find almost all of them at TJ Maxx, and the prices are amazing. I've gotten them at Macy's. Actually, these two pairs of tights came from Macy's. They do have great deals, and if you have their, uh, cards you get coupons which work on these kinds of things as well which is also amazing but you can find deals on hosiery in most most places charlotte Russe has deals on them you get two for 11 uh where else like i said target has probably one of my favorite they're probably one of my favorites because of all the selection that they have some of them are pricey for the fancier ones but the selection is out of this world and totally worth it so those are the places that I would recommend. I know that there are hosiery. Uh, you can get them on eBay and stuff like that for super cheap. I don't tend to like buying them online, mainly because I do not know the quality I'm getting. Uh, a friend of mine has been ordering, and she's gotten some great stuff. You can actually order legs. It's actually cheaper to order these online, and I just found that out recently, so I'm going to be doing that. But I'm looking into other websites to find different patterns because you always want something different and new and fresh. And I just want to see what the quality is going to be. So when that time comes, I will definitely make a video on that as well. But as far as doing outfits for maybe Valentine's Day or for date-wise, I strongly suggest, nine times out of ten, if you're doing like a sexy little dress, like a little black dress, or I try not to be the norm. Because you know if you're going to like a certain restaurant or a club, most of the girls there are going to be wearing that little black dress. And don't get me wrong, girls, I love it. If you accessorize it right, girl, you're styling. However, if I know I'm going to a place where I might be in contact with a lot of that kind of fashion, I will wear something different. Um, my safety color as far as dresses, and I'm sure you've noticed that on my channel, is red. I love red on a girl. It shows confidence. A lot of girls don't have the confidence to pull off a full red outfit or a red dress. Do it. Own that. Seriously, I think that every girl should have a little red dress in her wardrobe. It just shows confidence. And when you're out in a sea of little black dresses, you're going to stand out. And that's not every woman want. Or I'll go for an electric blue. Not a dark blue because that will mix in with the blacks. But... A electric blue that just pops something neon or something bright that really stands out 
and of course a nice pair of pantyhose because like I said they're makeup for your legs they just make your legs look so much better especially if maybe you nicked your leg a little bit when you're shaving or something along those lines your skin is dry it is winter time so your skin might get a little ashy this hides all of that it doesn't matter how much lotion you use girls trust me I have eczema I know the struggle Sometimes your legs don't look as nice as you want them to look, and these just take care of it. So I strongly suggest date night or you want to look super sexy and fancy. Even if you're at the club dancing with your girls, put on a pair of pantyhose. Strong recommendation on that. I find tights to be more fun. Uh, not really as sexy, but they can still be sexy depending on how you're doing that outfit. And like I said, I normally wear them with a tunic or a dress. Not like the little black dress or the red dresses, but more like a Macy's Material Girl kind of stuff. When you're looking for something more fun and different, more uh, trending, I would say. And we're bouncing again. We're going to have to do a part two, guys, for some reason. I hate it when this camera does it. Camera, you're going to be replaced soon enough. Trust me on this. Anyway, guys, we're going to do a part two on this, which is probably a good idea because we're getting along anyway. So I will be back with part two of this in a second. Take care.